Hey guys, my name is Batimio, and today I decided to take up another challenge every once in a while. As many of you guys are probably aware, I like to do these terrible weapon setup challenges where I'll go AEK Sniper, Repair Tool Only, C4 Only, that was a lot of fun. Uh, and for today, a bunch of you recommended that I use the M5K with the Cobra Sights without the extended mag. So only the Cobra Sight, that was it on the weapon. And you might be thinking to yourself, hey, Matimio, the M5K is an amazing weapon. And I would agree with you. It has a fantastic damage model compared to pretty much all of the other personal defense weapons out there. It's gonna do 25 damage up close per shot and at long range it does 13.75. And it also has an amazingly fast rounds per minute. It has an RPM of 900. But where we run into some problems and the reason why why this is a is a challenge is because I'm not using the extended mags when you're not using that you only get 20 rounds in the magazine or 21 if you have a bolt in the chamber and essentially where where this challenge comes in is that I'm always having to conserve my ammunition and really really focus on each of my targets and to, to try try to take out more than one with one magazine uh, and and that proved to to, uh, to be surprisingly difficult and really what I found myself doing for the most part throughout throughout the video was Reloading constantly I'd get a kill maybe get two kills and then I would be required to reload or I'd want to reload So I could get the short reload time which was 2.2 uh, .2 seconds But more often than not because of the blazing fast RPM and because I didn't really have a whole lot of buffer because it only has 20 rounds I was going through a three second long reload time and when you're playing on the close quarter maps or you're playing TDM or really any map out there three seconds feels like an eternity and so kind of a tactic I was deploying was to go for a kill reload and really just kind of run away if I go into a room I see multiple targets maybe take out a couple but then instantly just duck for cover get out of there go through the animation and then proceed to maybe poke my head my head in and out and see if I can take out a couple of more but I wouldn't just go guns blazing assuming that I could take out four targets because with only 20 rounds you would literally need to be perfect with every single shot and I don't know about you guys but I am not a perfect person and there is no way that was gonna happen I don't even think I got three kills with one magazine it was it was really hard to even get to uh, but one tactic that I was also using was every single time I would go for a, a kill I would always aim for the upper chest the m5k has a fairly substantial vertical recoil and because of its high rpm it is going to kick pretty hard up and so so if I would just go for a quick tap fire on someone and they were reasonably close, aiming for the upper chest shot would go directly for the head with that recoil and then I would get two quick bullets right in the dome piece and they would die almost instantly because of the fast RPM. And that saved me constantly. I also tried to just play up close and personal. I didn't really go for anything at long range. The M5K does have a decent long range killing potential but because of its high recoil, especially its un predictable recoil it's got the same recoil on the left and the right so it's it's impossible to predict exactly where this thing is going to bounce and while that makes it very easy to take out someone up close going for anything that's medium to long range isn't really a good job so I pretty much avoided those shots every once in a while I would maybe try to take a couple of shots down range but pretty much my my thought process was stay behind cover move from cover to cover and try to force people into those close encounter conflicts where the m5 5K is going to reign supreme and I can take advantage of that blazing fast RPM. Uh, but one thing I, I kind of found funny about this setup is that it didn't do as well on the close quarter DLC. Uh, the maps themselves are very condensed. There's a lot of people running around all over the place. There's a lot of different ways that the they can shoot you from and because of that I could take out a couple of targets here and there but then I was of course forced to go through the reload animation and because people are swarming you constantly I I always felt like I had my pants down and I never felt comfortable and so surprisingly when I went on to something like Sabalon Pipeline or the larger maps because they're not they're a lot more spread out things aren't as condensed I had some breathing room and that reload time that long reload time wasn't as large of a problem and I could go on some pretty satisfying kill streaks. I was able to be successful on the close quarter DLC but not as I wasn't able to do as well as I thought I would which was which was pretty surprising 
Uh, in general, this wasn't the craziest or most difficult challenge that I've had to do. I'd say that was probably the repair tool that I did last week, but it was a lot of fun and it wasn't easy. So I'm glad that I that I took up this challenge. It's always fun to use a really good weapon in a terrible situation or to try, try to mix it up to make that great weapon not as useful as it was before, like the uh, AEK sniper. Uh, so I'm glad I did this, uh, but that is about it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you have a terrible weapon setup that you would like me to try next, let me know down below in the comment section, and also thumbs up the ones you would also like me to try. Uh, but until tomorrow, guys, have a good one, and take it easy.